All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We're in Big Wave Beach, heading on to Day 11, where we have to survive the zombie attack with the plants that are given. Again, another very difficult one because all of the plants are basically chosen for you. Uh, the best chance that I would do is probably do a Snapdragon uh, and do a Tangled Kelp. Uh, I would really prefer to actually switch the Walnut for an Infinite Nut. Uh, but unfortunately, you really can't do that. You need something that will actually take away the surfer guys. I uh, know that the surfer guys are going to provide probably your biggest problem throughout this. Uh, and really, when you have, when you look at it, you only have the bowling balls as an offensive plant in the first five that they send you. So that's already a detriment right there. Uh, so you basically have to choose a plant that do, that will do actual damage. Uh, for that, I did the Snapdragon just because, again, he handles three different rows. And it's really kind of the best option that you can get. Uh, however, you will notice that, you know, even the scuba guys would be able to walk right past him. So it is something you will need to definitely have a Tangled Kelp or just something that does some damage to the guy. Uh, for instance, you can tell right here. That scuba guy is going to be able to take my guy out if I don't use a Tangled Kelp on him. While you're doing this again, make sure that you plant as many sunflowers as you can. You are going to need a lot of sun in this. So you notice that the scuba guy is going to come up. He's going to eat your walnut. He won't take him out, obviously, uh, but he will do quite a bit of damage to that walnut. So that is something to think about. And something to plan for. Uh, aside from this, once you get to this point, you're going to want to kind of do the bowling guys uh, for the simple fact that they're going to be sending quite a few zombies to you and you need some of these bowling guys to actually do damage over time. And when I mean damage over time, I mean, you know, right when they first come onto the screen. Because Snapdragons are great, but they do end up waiting until the zombies are you know, close enough. So if you look at this right here, Tangle Web is going to be able to easily take this guy out. If you didn't do that, that guy would have put a surfboard right on your guys, which is not what you want. Now again, instead of a Snapdragon, you guys could have maybe even have done a lightning rod but uh, that's something that I chose not to do right here just because again I want to th this is generally what I feel to be the to be the easiest best way to kind of take all of these guys out so like right there see the bowling guys were able to take out the surf the surfer guy uh, really 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 helpful can't tell you how helpful that one is. A lot of guys come in here, especially since this is getting close to be that last wave. So, definitely going to have uh, some issues coming up here. So, once you get this, make sure that you uh, you plant one of the bowling balls. And again, you put a bowling ball, a plant put on bowling ball, he'll basically take out almost everyone on the screen, which is actually very, very helpful. Not very helpful before that. I don't really like the damage that they do before that. But while they're, you know, while you put a plant food, it does take basically everyone out. And that is extremely helpful. But anyways, guys, it's going to be day 11 of Big Wave Beach. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.